Hey, YouTubers. Today marks the first time in U.S. history where we have granted illegal immigrants um, suspect class or protected status under the Equal Protection Clause of the 5th and 14th Amendments. Now, from a constitutional standpoint, illegal immigrants are not entitled to any constitutional deference simply because they're in the country illegally. Normally, um, registered aliens and legal aliens are entitled to the same constitutional prerogatives in almost every instance, not every, but almost every instance, as U.S. citizens. Well, today, a second um, federal district judge um, decided to block Trump's DACA decision. And if the, regardless if the federal judiciary at the trial court level realizes it or not, their activist decision, in effect, is going to ultimately negatively reshape our constitutional jurisprudence. Um, when we start to make judicial decisions on the basis that we don't like the policy of certain administrations, what happens is we begin to deviate from the text and there's no return after a while. If we're going to give illegal aliens um, status or deference under the Equal Protection Clause for DACA decisions, what comes next? Are we going to say that they have an automatic right to vote? You find your way in this country, you have a right to vote, you have a constitutional right to a driver's license under the Privilege and Immunities Clause, a right to entitlements. I mean, it's not a slippery slope. It's a neck-breaking slope. And that's why these activist decisions, which are geared towards combating um, the current domestic policy of this administration, are going to eventually ruin our constitutional jurisprudence in this country.